The Texas legislature has embarrassed itself with uh, writing laws about sex ever since I can remember, and I've been covering them for more than 30 years now. And it just seems to me they ought to give up the entire endeavor. It's just uh, an embarrassment to everybody when they do dipshit stuff like this. For those who don't know the general situation uh, with the law here in Texas, it is as follows. If you have six or more dildos, you are uh, considered a felon in this state because it is assumed that you have intent to distribute, whereas if you have five or fewer, you are merely a hobbyist. A couple weeks ago, I was in Forbidden Fruit and I was wanting to buy a new harness. And they were telling me about all the ones with the quick releases and stuff like that. And then I realized that because of the laws that I really couldn't be specific and, and talk about uh, dildos and harnesses and strap-ons. And so I had to switch it over and, and, and talk in the, in the terms that they always switch you back to. Which, so I was like talking about my educational model and, and my, my demonstrator and so what I, I what I was saying to the clerk is that um, I was having problems with uh, with you know getting my co my condom demonstrator on the model quickly enough and I kept being afraid that I was losing my audience educational models demonstrators after hearing Dona's story we decided to see for ourselves what dildo buying was like in Austin Texas so maybe I can open five today? I'm interested in buying a strap-on dildo. Well, we actually don't sell dildos here. Those are illegal in Texas. Um, we have um, these educational models that are, I guess, more representational, um, penis-shaped. And if you're looking for something that vibrates, we have personal massages up in the front. The public is going to come in and continue to use whatever form or manner of description that they want. Um, they like to come in and refer to them as dildos. We don't use the D word here at Forbidden Fruit. <laughs> Alright, so these are educational, educational models. models. Just safer sex demonstrations, I things see. like that. What are these used for? Well, these are actually, um, these are butt plugs. Butt plugs? Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's a demonstrator as well? Um, no, these are just to go in the butt. Huh. The anus is not defined as a sexual orifice by Texas law, so you can, you know, you can buy whatever you like to, to go there. Somebody had a genius idea. We needed to re reform the entire penal code. I mean, it's totally ridiculous. There's so much terrible stu old stuff in there. And so, you can, as I say, you can't trust the legislature to do it. So what they did was they appointed the Blue Ribbon Commission. And they went through and they did a pretty good old job. And they threw out a lot of these old laws were utterly useless. And they threw out 2106. Under state law 2106 in the state penal code, uh, it is illegal to be gay in Texas. Um, we haven't noticed so far that this has discouraged anyone from being gay or prevented them from becoming gay. Nevertheless, it's illegal to be gay in this state. And first it went over the Senate, the, the more liberal of the two bodies. And um, the guys in the Senate just gutted up and voted it through without a single change. We were all astonished. So it gets the House more conservative. And uh, the minute it landed on the floor, there was uh, State Representative Warren Chisholm. He is a Bible-thumping dwarf from Pampa, Texas. And he leaped to his feet and moved to reinstate homosexual sodomy in the penal code. Well, of course, all the guys was afraid that everybody would think they was queer if they didn't vote for it, so they did. And they reinstated homosexual sodomy in the penal code. Then some constitutional scholar explains to Warren that unless he also moves to reinstate heterosexual sodomy in the penal code, it's going to be declared unconstitutional. It's discriminatory. Well, Warren's nothing loath. He leaves to his feet. We're going to move to reintroduce heterosexual sodomy into the penal code. Whereupon a really interesting debate ensued. Mr. Speaker, members, uh, you better come get this amendment and look at it because this is a significant change in the law. I want to read this to you. It's quite offensive to me to have to read it in public. That's the way we make law. We're fixing to tell you what it is. A person commits an offense if a person engages in a sexual act involving the sexual organ of one person with the anus of another. And that is a Class C misdemeanor under this section of the law. Madam Speaker. I move for adoption. 
Will the gentleman for, yield? For what purpose, Mr. Anberg, will you yield, Mr. Chisholm? I yield. The gentleman yields, Ms. Danberg. Mr. Chisholm, you're saying this is a significant change in the law, and yet you have it as a Class C misdemeanor. What's the penalty range for a Class C misdemeanor? Uh, if you were in my county, it could be hanging. <laughs> Mr. Chisholm, probably, do you not probably know? Probably 500 bucks in this county, but that's all right. And they probably would hang you for doing this in my county if they caught you. A Class C misdemeanor is the same level of, of crime as a traffic ticket. Is that right? Um, I, I'm assuming that a traffic ticket, if you were doing something that they're going to fine you $500, they could probably do that. Uh, but it's not necessarily they have to fine you that much. That's a maximum. But I'd be willing to take an amendment to move that to a Class A or a felony or even a 3G offense if you'd so that you to do that, if you want to do that. You're trying to criminalize behavior between people of the opposite sex, is that correct? Uh, that's right. Even if they're married? More especially if they're married. Even if they... <laughs> I can't believe anyone would do that if they're married. Even, even if it's consensual, is that right? Under any circumstances. The even most, if the most gross they circumstances slip. you can imagine. Even if they slip, is that right, Mr. Chisholm? <laughs> well, I guess you could accidentally speed. Uh, but a violation of the law is a violation of the law. Okay, Warren. As to not embarrass you, we'll I'm use trying. me as an example. Say my husband and I were having intercourse and he slipped. And it touched my anus. Do I need to go turn myself in to some health official? I would suggest you see a doctor about his aim. <laughs> So in the end, they were all afraid that everybody would think they was preverts if they didn't vote for it, and so they did, and they reinstated heterosexual sodomy in the penal code. And Warren's at the front mic, and he and uh, Talmud Heflin, his big Christian ally from down in Houston, they are high-fiving and slapping each other on the back with a big double victory. And uh, some of the guys in the uh, press box called over the sergeant at arms and said, Sergeant, we want you to go over and reprimand both those men because under the provisions of the amendments just passed by Representative Chisholm, it is now illegal for a prick to touch an asshole in this state. There was a toy for making love and dildo was its name. Oh, D-I-L-D-O, 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 and dildo was its name. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Oh, man, <laughs> it is so beautiful. <laughs>